Hey guys, and welcome to the new module. We're going to start looking at a new topic this week. We've spent the past couple, three weeks talking about um, differentiation and differentiated instruction. This week we're going to move into assessment. Um, I think, feel like that's kind of a logical flow because we've talked about, you know, how we differentiate. So now we want to look at how do we assess it Maybe after we've done some differentiation or after we've done any kind of teaching and instruction, we need to know, well, did it work? Did they learn anything? Okay, so we're going to spend three weeks talking about assessment, and you might think I'm nuts, but there's a method behind my madness, because I really want us to step back and think about assessment, not just give it lip service and talk, you know, talk about the talking points that we all know and the things we think we're supposed to say. And um, I really want us to think about assessment. What makes it effective? Um, how can we make it more effective? Is what we're doing effective? Does it have any meaning? Is there a reason to it? If not, then why am I doing it that way? What would be a way that would be more engaging to my students um, when it came to assessment? And I'm not talking about the high stakes, standards-based, multiple choice, state assessments that we all know and love, even though we wish those could have meaning as well. No, um, what we want to look at is, I just, I just really want just to dig into what assessment means and what it is, what it can be, if we let ourselves do different assessments how it might change or might be more valuable to the way our students learn. And then even though they might have to take a multiple choice, a high stakes test, because they've learned the content well, they'll be fine on that multiple choice test. And we don't have to worry about our teaching to the test practices, which none of us do. <laughs> I'm not dumb. And some maybe develop some ideas and share some ideas and some things we do or that we've seen or that we're really interested in or maybe we have questions about just dealing with assessment so this week we're going to go really slow in fact there's just a very little bit of content this week and the really the one thing that I want you to do this week is to have a conversation with your classmates so since there's not a lot of content to mull through and other things to do, I really want to see a robust conversation among y'all. So, you know, don't blow it off. Oh, it's just a discussion board. I don't have to do that. Now, I really want you to get in. Each person has a different question that I want you to think about and pose an answer to. And then I want everybody else to go back and kind of respond to those replies from each other. So it'd be kind of like if we were in class and I threw out a question and said, hey, Kyle, we're gonna, I'm going to give you, what, five, ten minutes, whatever, to come up to, with a response to this question, and I want you to come back to the class and you know tell us your response, and then we're going to talk about that, all of us together. And then there's another question for somebody else, and so on and so forth. Okay, so I would really like to see a, a, a robust conversation this week. That's really your only um, to-do on your list this week. There's things to read and resources to look at and that kind of stuff, but really the to-do item is to have that conversation with you with each other kind of start the, the ball rolling and the conversation going all right so if you need anything let me know and i'll talk to you soon